of the goals of the programs in the Antarctic and in fact throughout the National Science Foundation is to study um, organisms and their adaptations to their environment, particularly extreme environments like the Antarctic. The reason that we study uh, emperor penguins is really twofold. One, we're interested in seeing how they fit into the ecology of the Ross Sea. They're a major predator in this uh, area, so their role is very important. Their population size will have an effect on uh, the overall ecology of the region. Uh, the second reason is that these animals are outstanding divers, and from my viewpoint, my interest in physiology, uh, how they're able to stay down for so long and go so deep is, is something that I would like to figure out and I think is relevant to how uh, a biological system will adapt to both the pressure as well as to the presence of low oxygen. These animals can survive under conditions where their body oxygen levels are very low, uh, levels which would cause trauma to our tissues. These animals can stay submerged for 20 minutes on a single breath of air and swim down to 500 meters depth. How they tolerate that pressure and how they're able to stretch out the oxygen on that single breath of air is very interesting to me. As an anesthesiologist, probably the most critical thing that I have to monitor and manage is the oxygen level in the patient. These birds routinely tolerate oxygen levels which would be a disaster in a human patient. And they do it repeatedly every day at 500 meters depth and have no problem. So the adaptations, I think, within these animals uh, are unique and allows them to have very unique behavior. And potentially, if we understand those adaptations, there's a potential application to medicine.